Yo, what is good, y'all? We are back with a new video. Oh my gosh, I am excited to show you guys this workout. It is a shoulder and arm day. Like, this is really a crazy video. Like, the pump you get from this is, like, unreal. Like, I cannot explain how good the pump is. You're just gonna have to see in the video yourself. But before I get into the video, I just wanna say to you guys, thank you guys for all the support that I've been getting. Like, we just hit 150 subscribers. This really means a lot to me. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a better fan group. I couldn't ask for a better family part of this to be part of this channel and just make this channel grow as it is. I pray more people come into the family in the future. But yeah, without further ado, I just want to say, let's get into the video. So the first exercise that I did for this workout was tricep pushdowns, cable pushdowns to be exact. So reason why I chose this exercise because I feel like it is a great way to start putting blood into your triceps to start getting it pumped up getting your arm pumped up in general so what I really like to do with push downs is I like to start off light get the form right get my form correct so when I start adding more weight to it I'm able to control it properly Mo what you really want to do and I want to give you guys this advice when you guys are going through the motion when you're going down with the push down put a little bit of speed in it but when you're going up control all the way you want to go slow when you're going up and fast when you're going down not like super fast but you guys know what i'm trying to say you want to go slower when you're going up and faster when you're going down reason what this does is on the negative mo motion of the movement you guys are going to be able to feel that stretch from that tricep you're just going to be creating a better contraction a better mind muscle connection with the muscle so you'll be getting more gains long term. So you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, don't go too heavy. Don't do a weight that you guys are not able to control properly. If, you, if you're doing a weight that you can't even get up to 10 reps with, I recommend you not doing it. I would like to see you get like to close to like 12 reps, 12 to 15 reps. So you get more blood into those triceps. So yeah, tricep push down was the first exercise. The second exercise that I chose for this workout is bicep cable curls this workout will give you one of the filthiest pumps you're ever gonna get in your life it's going to give you one of the craziest pumps you're gonna get on your biceps for this i recommend you guys always controlling your weight controlling your weight down and controlling it up you want to make sure you're not going to injure yourself you just want your bicep being felt the whole entire time that's how your muscle grows the more time is put under tension the more it'll grow so like I say, do a weight that you could get at least 12 reps with. That'll be a great start. And you start working up to there, putting more weight in the future. Side lateral raises with the machine will give you one of the best pumps of your life. If you want your shirts to fit better, I know I made a video on how to get a thick back. A back will get your, get your shirt to fit better. But also if you want your arms popping out, in a shirt work out your shoulders i'm telling you guys you will not regret working on your shoulders you want big shoulders because having big shoulders create an illusion that your arms look way bigger right so with the side lateral machine i feel a great squeeze when i'm at the top of my shoulders and honestly you guys should try this out if your gym has this machine use the machine because it makes it better for you not to injure yourself when you're just having free dumbbells, free weights. And then like you could really injure yourself like that. But having the machine, it's a lot harder to injure yourself. So yeah, I like to go up to like the 20 rep range on this. Do a, close to 20 reps. Don't do a number that you can only do 10 reps with and then you feel like you did good enough. I'm telling you, your shoulders need a lot more tension than 10 reps. You want your shoulders to be popping out even more work the rear delt the rear delt is the back of your shoulders so the machine the workout that i'm doing right now is called rear delt flies so what this does it works the back of your shoulder it puts a lot of mass on these shoulders once you start getting good at working out your rear delts don't go too heavy on this i recommend you guys because you will really injure yourself if you go heavy on this specific exercise so do a weight that you could do, obviously, like always, 12 to 20 reps. 
So you just put some blood in those shoulders, start creating more tension into those shoulders and more growth long-term periods. So yeah, the fourth exercise will be the rear delt flies. If you want to make your triceps bulge up, like just get bigger, do overhead extensions with the dumbbell or with the cable. I did it twice in this workout. I did the the one with the cable, I did it at the end of the workout just to get some more blood into the triceps because I actually was running out of time and I had to leave the gym real quick. So overhead extensions are really great for stretching that long head of your tricep. You wanna build, if you want big arms, you wanna work the long head of your tricep. You just wanna work your tricep in general. You wanna train them really hard so they could grow. So with the overhead extensions, you get such a crazy stretch on that tricep at the bottom part. Like you just, you might feel like you can't even go up. So with this one, if you guys are gonna do a dumbbell, be careful because you don't want that dumbbell falling on your traps or falling on the top of your head and it causes a concussion. So do a weight that you are comfortable with that does not hurt your shoulders. But if the, if the dumbbells are hurting your shoulders, then go to the cable variation, which will be a lot better in the way how I'm positioned, and you will feel your tricep a lot better. Remember, slow motion, controlled, you wanna feel that tricep working the whole entire movement. All right, so after those tricep extensions, you wanna be going to a machine called the preacher curl. What a preacher curl is, is basically you are putting your hands on like a, a platform, right? And you're basically doing good form all the time. You're not doing bad form, you're feeling your bicep working the whole entire time. This is so painful when you're going so high in reps. Like when you get heavy and you're actually controlling it, you start to feel your bicep like just pumping up. You feel the blood pumping into your muscles. And that is why I love this exercise. So do a weight like always. Like I can't, I don't want to keep saying this all the time, but I want you guys to understand. Do not do weight that you guys cannot control. It is not a good idea. You do not want to get injured. There's no way you should be impressing. Right? You should, the only person you should be impressing is yourself. So it's better to fill your muscle, do 12 good reps, filling your muscle with a lighter weight instead of five good reps with a heavy weight. You know what I'm trying to say? So yeah, slow movements all the time. It's the same with the cable variation, but this time you're having something to support you. You're going to have good form the whole entire time. And once you start to see like you're rocking a little bit or like, you know, you're starting to like get off the seat, that's when you stop because there's no reason to do bad form on an exercise and to injure yourself. So yeah, the preacher curl will be the next exercise. Guys, so I did a superset after that preacher curl. So if you guys don't know what a superset is, is when you're doing one exercise and the moment you're done with that one, you go on to the next one. So when you're done with your first set of bicep curls or hammer curls like the ones i'm going to show you guys i'm doing hammer curls for this one whenever you do hammer curls once i'm done with that set i completed my set all right, i'm going to the next exercise i'm doing my front raise for my shoulders so with the hammer curls you're going to be working a lot of your brachialis you want your brachialis to be developed i'm going to say this now you want big arms train your triceps right but also train your brachialis that will bring your bicep out of your arm, like it'll pop it out a little bit more so it makes your arm look thicker, it makes your arm look wider from the side and the front. So yeah, train your brachialis with these. Hammer curls is a great way. You also have like um, pronated grip um, bicep curls. I'm gonna show you guys that in another video. I didn't do it in this exercise because, in this workout, because you know, all the weights were being used. And then yeah, I did front raises with the with the plate, the 25 pound plate. And I did 20 reps with my front shoulders, you know, just to complete the shoulder workout. I worked out all three heads. And yeah, that was a superset. Don't kill yourself though. When you're done with the superset, take rest because the moment you go straight back into that, once you completed that that superset, don't go. All right, I took a rest for 30 seconds. I'm back at it. You're gonna kill yourself. So wait like a minute and 30 seconds of rest and you'll feel, damn, you know, I can do this harder and harder every time. So yeah, that is the next exercise. People who made it to the end, I love you guys for making it to the end. You guys mean a lot to me. So I'm adding a bonus exercise into this, like right now, and it is going to be the reverse grip uh, hammer curl with the bar. 
this is another way how you train your brachialis out. This will give you a crazy pump. So I did this at the end of my workout. So I was already tired, I was exhausted. But it's good to do an exercise that will put more blood into your muscle. Because you know, who doesn't love doing that? Who doesn't love training the muscle hard to know, so you're knowing that you're getting growth. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because you clearly made it to the end. It means a lot to me. And as always, always write down in the comments, what would you guys say is your favorite muscle to train? I just put it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. And, you know, I, I love to see your responses. I love to see what people think. And, yeah, like always, guys, have an amazing day. Enjoy when, whatever you're about to do. Always pray to God and stay safe out there. Thank you, guys. Please subscribe and like and comment. And go enjoy your day. Thank you.